Hello, this is Bob Hollis with the Mobius Network and a quick tutorial on how to use WordPress for just uh, basic edits for pages and menus, etc. So this is for someone who's never logged into WordPress before. We'll be starting from scratch. And I'm at a demo development site here called uh, communityjam.org that I'm just getting started for the American River Folk Society. So I will... Uh, when I want to log in here, you know, sometimes it, it's actually showing me as logged in. I guess I should log out first, and uh, that's better. So we'll start here from scratch. Okay, so now I'm logged out, and uh, I can either click log in here, or if there's not a login available uh, on the home page, some people don't put them, you can just type front slash wp dash login dot php to log into most WordPress sites. Once you do that, you reach a screen like so. And this brings you to your dashboard, which uh, once you've seen it, once you normally don't use again. So I'm going to click Dismiss. And again, just uh, additional basic statistics and things that show up when you first log in on your site. Uh, most WordPress sites have a, a vertical menu over here on the left. I use a plugin that puts the menu up here at the top and uh, gives us more working space on the screen, and I, th I find it to be an easier menu to work with. So I always keep two tabs open, one for the back end and one for the front end, just so I can switch back and forth and view my changes. So this is the front end again of the site that we'll be working on. Uh, it's still showing me as logged in here. and we'll be looking at the back end and showing how to make changes. So this is a home page placeholder that was just set up. Uh, this is a slideshow with just some random photos, not anything intended to stay on the site. These were pulled off the internet, so uh, I'm not sure who owns those, etc. And then we've just got a little uh, widget I put in over here on the right just to put in shows from archive.org, uh, music events. But the main purpose of the video today is to just show how to edit and create pages. So for example, these menu items I've created here just as placeholders and they're all blank. So right away, right from the front end, now that I'm, I'm logged in here and you, know, you can see up the top, it shows me as being logged in. So I could click right here if I wanted to and just start editing. And if I wanted to add a photo of some kind, I could click Add Media. And I don't think I have anything in our library right now. Oh, sure, a few random, uh, those that I plugged into the slider. So I could grab one of those if I wanted to and, and say what size I want it to be. I'll just leave it as a thumbnail and a line at left. And go ahead and insert that into the page. And now I can type any text I like and that would wrap but I probably really want to have more of a margin there on that text. So I can click that image to edit and go to advanced settings and add some horizontal space. So I'm just going to add five pixels there. And you can see it shows it added it on the left and right. I'd probably only want it on the right in this case. So I'm just going to manually edit that five out and make it a zero. And then uh, don't forget to save your update. And there are more things you can do in here, you know, adding uh, different links for it to go to, things like that. Now you can see that that added some space. So that's how you would basically do an edit. And that's the home page that's already here. So I'm, um, if it's going to show on the title, you can say whether in the menu, you can say whether or not you want it to show. You can change the name that shows on the menu and show the title on the page, which I typically do for consistency. That way you don't type it in. So I'm going to go ahead and update that and save that page. And now, um, if we were to just go back and look at that front page again, and I've already got a back end open there, so you can see it added that photo and text as if that were an article. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that out for now. Well, yeah, that would be a good idea. Because I think I'm going to put a uh, video there of this. All right, so I've just removed that random content that I added. You could, you'll see here, too, that you could add a slideshow. And here are basic uh, WYSIWYG options if you want to you know, add a link or something like that. You can figure these all out pretty quickly. But because we're using a tiny MCE plugin, uh, we also can turn on a lot more editing options to make that easy. 
if you ever feel like you need to see the code, you can click text here, and that gives you some a little short code information. All right, so that's all you have to do to edit a page. Now, let's say that I wanted to add something brand new, and, um, and, I, and I have it set by default to add new pages to the menu. So I could do two things. I could have gone up here to Pages, and let, let's do that to, to get our orientation down. So this is an area where you will do a lot of work. So if you come here to Pages and All Pages, and by the way, if you use the vertical menu, it's basically the same. It's just laid out uh, differently, but you'll have all the same options that I show in this menu. All right, so suppose I were going to add a new page. I could just click Add New and say New Page. Put whatever title I want that to be and New Page Demo. And because I have this uh, menu set to automatically show uh, new items that are added as main pages, uh, it's going to get added to the menu automatically. So I'll just say publish. Now if I come back out here to our, oh, sorry, it keeps taking me back to the admin side. So I'm just going back to our front page. And you can see here that was added to our menu. Now let's say I really don't want that there, which I don't. That was just a demonstration. So I'll go back here into my dashboard area and under appearance, and menus. This is where you can control everything related to your menus, and it's really simple. It's straight drag and drop. So you can, for example, if you wanted some things over here in your menu that weren't, you can just you know click them and then click Add to Menu to bring them over. Um, if you have something you don't want, you can grab it here and just drag it off the menu, or even rearrange it. So let's say I want a new page to be there, but I wanted it to be above blog. I would just slide it like that. And then don't forget to save your changes. And so now if I went back and refreshed, you can see it comes before blog. If I wanted it to be a sub-menu item of blog, I would take it and just put it here. Oops, just slide it a little into the right, manually indent it. And now, and, and there are different positions too. So you can you can take it in one. If you had a sub item, you could take it in two. So you can get multiple layers there. I'll put that back. And that's all you need to do to uh, change your menu. So I'll click save there, and then we'll come back out and take a look and refresh the screen. And you can see now, new page is a sub item of block. And there's our new page. So that's all you need to do. So when there are things already done, uh, remember this is the menu. That's not where you actually edit the pages. But I'll get rid of this, and I can do that either by down, uh, you know, dropping down here and clicking Remove. But just to show the other way of doing that, uh, I could also just drag it away. Oops. Oh, I guess not. That was a special feature I I'd added on another site recently. All right, so it's removed. And then again, save menu. Okay, now these are just menu items, you know, that connect to a page, right? So uh, we might need to edit that page. You can click right here to get to it. And that'll show you the front side. If you can, you can see what it looks like. That shows you the front end. And you can click here to edit from the front side. And that will pull you right in. And we also could have uh, just straight from the, again, from any place when you're working and you've got your uh, menu showing, you can go into Pages and All Pages or Add New to do something like that. Now, if I just needed to add some mission language here, I can uh, go out to a you know Word document or anything of that nature and paste it in. If you paste from Word, make sure you use the Paste from Word option here because Word has a lot of just kind of garbage code in the back of it that you often don't see and it will mess up your uh, your formatting. So use the Paste from Word option or the Paste from Plain Text option to keep your site looking consistent and applying the site style. Um, in regards to this particular site, this is not our final style. This was just a working space I created. Uh, so we can start getting the content in. 
and these are the menu. This is the menu structure that uh, I was requested to create, other than the new page, which should no longer be there. Right, it's gone. And then in regards to the slideshow, uh, you will just go back to the back end again. Here's slideshows, and I can just select slideshows. And we have one right now. Again, this is just random Georgetown photos for demo only. That's not intended to stay on the site uh, for the, when it goes live. You can select your settings over here on the left. And if you want to add a new slide, it's very simple. Um, you can just click here to insert an image slide, a text slide, or a video slide. If I want to click an image slide, that's it. Then I would just select which image I want to include or I can do a search. I guess I, well, I'd have to know the description to do a search for it. But that's it. You put the slide in and it uh, adds itself to the rotation. And then the rotator itself is what is called a widget. And the widgets are the blocks of, uh, inf the, the blocks that fill in spaces that show data and information and photos. So the little, the little areas. And so to, uh, this is a widget that's showing the slide. This is a widget that's showing the show here from archive. And this is a, these are all widgets here. To see those, you go into the back and it's appearance and widgets. And here are all those widgets. So you can see here search, recent posts, recent comments, archives. Let's say I want to get rid of recent posts. I can just grab it and boom, gone. Let's say I wanted to add something to the secondary area. Well, this is where we have the show, um, but I could put something else over there too if I wanted to. Social stickers or, well, you know, Facebook integration, that sort of thing. And then in our top area, this is where we have that slideshow widget that's showing the photos. And we're telling it to not put a title and just show this uh, random Georgetown Photos demo. When we get the regular, you know, final production version there, we'll just switch over to that. And that's it. That's all we need to do. So if you wanted to add photos to this widget, the, the display through the widget, you would just go into slideshows and edit the photos uh, that we've got there. And let's say I wanted to remove this one. I would just click delete slide and it's gone. And then I could also add a slide just as easily. So that's how the uh, slider works. That's it for our first tutorial. Uh, hopefully that's enough to get you started. And you can find plenty more on YouTube, or uh, one thing I'd always recommend is uh, opening an account at wordpress.org. One of the great things about WordPress, uh, it makes it really easy to use, is when you find plugins that you like, you know, let, let's say for example I like Tumblr Importer, I can save that as a favorite, and then if I were back here and I wanted to add a new plugin, I can click Add New, and I can choose to have it show me favorites, and these are my favorites. So I can go onto the WordPress site, you know, it wants to know your username, and then it will give me all the things that I've saved as favorites. So when I'm updating a site or building a new site, I don't have to go find those all over again. All I have to do is pull up my favorites. And uh, you can see there are all kind of cool things here you can do with WordPress, uh, more than 24,000 options for plugins. So that will keep you busy for a while. That concludes our WordPress tutorial. Hope that's helpful. Well, that's about all you need to get started. The rest is just about having fun. Happy hacking. <laughs>